What is going on you guys? I hope you guys are still having a great day. I know that I am. Now guys, today I am going to be reviewing the next Fast and Furious film, what some people call the best in the franchise, Fast Five. Now this film was directed by Justin Lin. If you guys don't know, he actually directed the previous Fast and Furious film, a film that I find pretty disappointing. So you could tell that I was a little, if I was a little bit anxious as to see what he could do because you know with that one being such a disappointment despite me enjoying it enough in the franchise i will say that um yeah the def he definitely did a great job with this film so yeah this film basically picks up exactly where the previous film left off and basically the film the the crew has now been on the run and Dom has now escaped from being sent to prison, and now they are now in Rio de Janeiro, and now they're trying to stop a crime lord who basically wants them dead, so they're trying to take his money. And they're trying to win their freedom back, or buy it back, because all this money will basically pay for their freedom. And they also have to try to run from a federal agent, played by Dwayne Johnson, who's hot on their tail. Now guys, if you guys don't know, I am a big fan of this franchise. I absolutely love it this franchise by a long shot. The first four films are anywhere from good to okay. I love the first one. Two and three, here's the thing, two was good. Three is probably my least favorite out of all of them. Um, four was obviously yeah, pretty disappointing. This film, however, this movie's fucking awesome. Oh my god, this movie is, I fucking love it. I love Fast Five. This is definitely the best of the franchise for me so far. And granted, yeah, I have watched all these films, and this one might be my favorite. This one, or another one, I'll talk in a, I'll talk about later. But yeah, okay. So I don't even know where to start as far as positives go with this movie because there's so much stuff that I like. For one thing, bringing back the crew together, uh, Vin Diesel and Paul Walker are both in the film. They are fantastic. Tyrese Gibson is brought back into the movie again after we don't see him again. We don't we we don't see him very much, like we don't we we don't see him at all in the third film, and he was hardly in the in the fourth one. And in this film, he's brought back, and he's funnier than ever. He's more funny in this film. You get that crazy attitude of his, and I kind and I really like watching that. Um, also, adding the Rock to this movie. That's one of the best decisions that they've made, with this franchise. I absolutely love. Um, Dwayne Johnson in this film. Considering the fact that he's a federal agent, kind of um, going after, he's basically going after the crew and trying to figure out what they're doing and trying to track them down. For me, that's that's kind of like, they're kind of like doing a repeat in a good way for what Paul Walker was doing in the first Fast and Furious where he was basically trying to figure out what Dom, what Dominic Toretto was doing. But I didn't really buy Paul Walker as a as an agent or as a cop. He didn't look threatening or tough enough he kind of looked too innocent and boy and like too much of a little boy like boyish with this film however Dwayne Johnson looks like he could really take out the crew and he's a uh, freaking badass he's always sweating all the time but he is like like he, he's always got this face like like <laughs> it's just it was fun to watch him on screen I absolutely loved him in this film and granted, uh, this film is basically the first film that focused it, that focused more on heist films instead of street racing. Now, granted, this franchise never escaped its street racing roots. Like there's still there's still small scenes of street racing in every single film after the first four. And this one, there is a a street race I think towards the beginning of the film. And yeah, but this film focused more on heist because right now they're trying to win money for their freedom. So they have a reason for going after this crime lord. And I do think it worked pretty well. And if you guys don't know, it's played by it's played by a guy who was act it's played by the same guy, the crime lord, who was actually uh the one of the bad guys in twenty four season three. So um you can yeah, you would have to look it up to figure it out. I don't remember his name, but that was something that I really did enjoy about this film was even though he's not in the movie that much, I still enjoyed his performance overall. And yeah. Anyways, um, the high sequence in this film and everything leading up to the actual um, steal stealing of the money at the very end of the film, 
it was all worth it. Considering the fact there are hardly any car chases in this movie, there are some there are some foot chases, like people are running through neighborhoods trying to catch one another. That's in the film. And those actually make up for the car chases. Because really, the only car chase in this film is at the very end. And, I mean, that's not even a bad thing. Because, like, you know, when someone told me, oh, yeah, there's only one car chase in this film, I thought, oh, really? Huh, I don't know. But, granted, I love this movie. And whenever you have a film that is basically building up tension throughout the entire runtime and making you wonder what's going to happen next... What they decided to do in this film was do something that I will never forget and probably every teenage boy will love, and that's they gave Vin Diesel and The Rock a fight scene. They have a fight scene. And it was so fucking awesome that, aside from seeing sexy women on screen, that type of fight scene is every teenage boy's dream. Seeing two buff men from Hollywood kick the shit out of each other and i fucking loved that part of the movie that's one of my favorite scenes of the whole film and then you know we get the final we get the final car chase sequence which by the way you guys if you guys have not seen a fast and furious film um first of all what are you doing with yourself once you watch this movie this is when the action gets very over the top because they take two dodge chargers with like metal um braces on the back and they basically take what feels like probably like they take what probably is like a um, a 10-ton safe filled with like millions or billions of dollars worth of money. And they... And they basically drag it out of the wall. And they drag it throughout all the streets of Rio de Janeiro. And they basically use the safe as like a battering ram for police cars coming after them. And it was fucking incredible. I absolutely loved it. Guys, I can't tell you guys enough. I could talk forever about how great this movie is. There is not a single flaw I have with this film. There's nothing that I don't like about it. Even though the bad guy is not really fully well developed, I honestly did not care that much. I really liked everything in this film. I did think that the level of emotion as well, before I forget, I felt the level of emotion in the film was also pretty well done, especially with... Um, with uh, Brian O'Connor and his girlfriend. I felt that that was pretty well done. And the fact that Dominic Toretto is still suffering from Letty um, getting killed in the previous film. I felt that that was um, something that they they handled okay. Like you can tell he's suffering a little bit. And I was like, okay, I get it. I feel his pain. But guys, granted, I fucking love this movie. I would highly recommend anybody watch it. So far, it's my favorite of the tr of the entire franchise. And I am definitely, without a single doubt, giving Fast Five an A+. Plus. Yep, A+. Plus. It, it earned it. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to more reviews tomorrow. I'm going to be reviewing a Netflix film that I saw just a couple days ago that I'm very excited to share with you guys. And I'm going to be reviewing more of the Fast and Furious films. I will have the Netflix film out tomorrow, as well as Fast and Furious 6. So I'm very excited to be reviewing those two films. So guys, thank you very much, as always. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and also please comment below what films you would like me to review in the future. Any films that maybe you have seen in my collection, or maybe films that you have seen that you would want to know my opinion about. So guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys later.